most people cannot wrap their head around the idea of somebody who could be married and then also work in the industry. So how does your relationship work within those parameters? So when I met my boyfriend, I was, I mean, my actual husband, we've been married for two days. So mm -hmm. I, I'm still getting, uh, you've been married for two days. Wait, you got married two days ago? Yeah. Oh my God. Congr ago. Oh, thank congratulations. You. Oh, thank you. So cool. Yeah. We've been in, together 11 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we moved into new, we, we moved into new, this new house, and during quarantine, we just realized, oh, we should get married because we're gonna have more rights. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just gonna be better. So, you know. Yeah, we, the government in our families, so we just decided to get married. <laughs> something happened to each other. I mean, to one of us. It's yeah. Just, uh, for taxes, yeah, yeah. for a lot of things, it's just better. Yeah. So we decided to get married. But I mean, we just explained that if you think about it and love are two different things. Mm -hmm. I never, at the time I didn't know, but I was still separating lust and love, even though sometimes, you know, I will fall in love when I was, uh, <laughs> and then you do, I did porn and now I can fall in love anytime I shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's still just lust. Uh, for me, love is something else. It's something that you build with a person and is based on on values and things you share together. Of course, it has an irrational part that has to do with just liking each other and just have two different characters that, no, I, don't think, I don't think it's the right word, uh, personalities mm -hmm. that work well together and you can decide that. But what you can work on is be honest with, with yourself and honest with other people. So when you're dating, uh, you know what you're looking for. And if the other person is honest too, things go so much smooth. And mm -hmm. that's just what happened to me and my boyfriend. I mean, he told me I love you the second day we met. And that was just, this is another guy just when I have sex. I'm like, and I told him, listen, you don't have to tell me I love you. I'll have sex with you anyway. <laughs> And they would say, oh, no, I can see uh, each other married and, you know, have this, like, old couple type of conversation. And now we're here 11 years after. Wow. And, yeah, I never understood jealousy. And I always hated, I could never stand a jealous person. So, actually, I never had a true boyfriend before him. Mm -hmm. um, because I didn't, I was... Even when I met him, I wasn't looking for a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I want to have someone like a friend with benefits, but mm -hmm. they could also, you know, okay, we have, we can also have fun. Because mm -hmm. in Italy, people tend to separate good girls from bad girls. So you don't, you don't bring the bad girls around. You don't show your, the bad girls to your friends. It's like, oh, you have sex and then that's it. You can't, you can't be friends with it. Mm -hmm. with them uh now you know that i'm older things are different or maybe it's because it's because i do so i just attract different type of people but when i was a teenager uh i was feeling lonely but still not at the point that i will like give up my values and start mm -hmm. to you know like give up my sexual freedom because people were behaving that way around me so i was like mm -hmm. no I'm, I'm just gonna do what guys do Fuck it. Like when I will meet a guy smart enough to accept that, then maybe I'll have a relationship. Otherwise I'm good alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the most, I think one of the keys to entering into a successful relationship, at least this was the case for me is that you have to be okay with you by yourself first. Yes. Um, and, and be comfortable in not needing another person to like make you whole. Yeah. I think the uh, changing the, your mentality from like, Oh, I need a partner to make myself whole to a partner would help complement my life. I think that's really healthy. And, and I had reached that point when I met my husband and, you know, to this day, like, and I love him so much, like more than I've ever loved anybody else. Thank God. Cause we're having a baby together. Yes. But, um, you know, I, he's everything to me, 
But if he left me tomorrow, I would be devastated. I would be so devastated, but my life would not be over. I would get over it. I would move on with my life and I would be okay. And I would, I feel that way now about with anybody. And I never felt that way before. And I think that that kind of attitude is what allowed me to find somebody like him and enter into like a really healthy relationship that's yeah. not codependent. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.